Did you see the sign on the wall? The writing on the wall, I should say. Hello, everybody. Carla Nicole. So, um, I wanted to talk today about the importance of walking by faith. Um, I do understand that today is a holiday, so I may not have a lot of viewers today. It's okay. Um, hey, MJ. But it's okay because um, it is vitally important that we understand the power of walking by faith. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, it would be a good time to do that. So after this video today with the Live with Carla Nicole show, be sure to go over to my YouTube channel, which is Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel, and subscribe today. So I want to welcome everybody. Um, I may not have a large crowd today, but that's okay. Um, today is about resurrecting and um, just um, understanding the power of faith and walking by faith. I don't think a lot of times we talk about the power of faith. I think a lot of times we say we walk by faith, but do we? Let's ask that question. Do we really truly walk by faith? I think sometimes we attempt to walk by faith, but it is a challenge. And I must tell you that I challenge my faith all the time. Sometimes I challenge my faith um, sort of like in a moderate way. Sometimes I do it very drastically and do it in extreme, in an extreme way. Um, I think it's important that we challenge ourselves and we challenge our faith. Because faith is a beautiful thing, but if we really don't heed to the power of it, we will find ourselves um, kind of uh, low on the totem pole with our faith energy. And understand that having faith is an energy, and it is definitely something that we want to make sure that we are um, pretty much full on. Now, we, we make sure that we go to the gas station, right? We make sure that our, our, our tank is full. We make sure that um, we have a full tank of gas. <laughs> now, we have challenged that. I'm sure a lot of us have. I know I have challenged it to the point where I'm like, oh, you know what? I could probably go another couple miles before I stop at the gas station. But we do understand the power of uh, not making sure we're full on gas <laughs> to the point where we have found ourselves walking to the gas station, to the nearest gas station to make sure that we, um, you know, fix that. Because, of course, we can't drive um, our vehicles without our gas. So that's the same thing with our faith. Um, if we do not stay on top of making sure that we have a full tank of faith, um, we will find ourselves in between a rock and a hard place trying to um, walk in this life as um, best as we can without it. And as you know, when you don't have a full tank of gas, what happens? You're out there walking, right? <laughs> Instead of driving. So I want to welcome everybody to the Manifestation Series. This series I um, created to make sure that we not only are walking in our life uh, of purpose, but we're walking in our purpose, but we're also making sure that while we are in purpose, that we are manifesting what we desire and what we so want in our life. A lot of times we say we want things and we, we desire things, but we really don't think about the power of manifesting things um, with intention, okay? So faith, okay, is very important to have in the manifestation of anything in your life. Um, the reason why I want to talk about faith is because a lot of times we believe that faith is belief, and it is <clears throat> to a degree. But faith also must be challenged. Faith must also be practiced. Um, and like I said, I challenge my faith all the time. So with that said, um, you know, doing this as a mission, as a spiritual walk, it is not easy. But it also requires me to do some things maybe that others may not do. But I still want to share with you what I do to make sure that maybe you, yourself, if you're not where you want to be yet as far as 
in your full potential or in your you know your best version of yourself there's some things that you can do even with your faith and 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 a lot of times we ask god you know um are you here are you with me um do you see me a am i doing what i need to do and all of these questions we ask god all the time we like god are you there <laughs> are you with me um and so faith is the is actually to be honest with you faith is the actual evidence that god is here <laughs> okay because i believe that without faith we can find ourselves walking in life always in a panic with high anxiety high stress level uncertainty fear all of which those four things alone can choke the very life hey Mar mario can choke the very life out of your manifestation of what you want to do in your life so it's very important that we sit back and understand that faith is the evidence of 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 the power you have inside you to manifest some things but you have to challenge your faith a lot of times we we do these things and, and like i did in the beginning of the video i just showed you what i have on my wall right now that goes up my stairwell it says walk by faith now there's a little humor to that if you trip up my steps you might <laughs> you might be questioning if you're walking by faith physically but psychologically spiritually are you walking by faith do you challenge your faith on occasion i do all the time i challenge my faith you know and it's not about necessarily um a lot of people will say well you know um i'm going to challenge my faith based upon my wants and it's not about your wants see i always ask in my in my silent prayer i always ask god to bless me um with my needs what are my true needs in my life what do i need to have in my life that i'm functioning at the best version and highest level of myself so what what is it that i need in my life i ask god all the time to just bless me with my needs and if you can sprinkle a few wants in there, I would be gratefully excited and appreciative. But um, it's my own spiritual joke with God. Like, hey, if you can sprinkle a few uh, wants, I would appreciate it. I will be grateful. You know, and, and all joking aside, I do ask God to bless me with my needs. But a lot of times I believe in life. Those of us that really don't challenge our faith really don't realize that are your needs being met and I'm not always talking about what you need as far as to live but what do you need to survive what do you need to thrive in your life in your in your dominance in your life what do you need so when you sit back and you look at what things it is you need in your life are they there and if they are that's a beautiful thing but if they're not why not and see sometimes I think we must challenge our faith we must ask ourselves we say it all of our mouth walk by faith walk by faith we tell our kids pray make sure that you 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 uh, ask God for what you need we do all these things and we say it out of our mouth but are we practicing walking by faith though are we really taking each step in our life via by faith are we and see when you really sit back and look at your faith you got to sit back and really truly pay attention to how you live your life and your body will tell you if you are living by faith or if you are not and like i said earlier anxiety is a huge 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 factor and example of not living by faith a number two is a uh, worry when you're constantly worrying inside your soul that is evidence that your faith is not <laughs> is not full in your tank because understand something when you have people you love and care about people in your life that you really want to see the best for 
when you have a life of faith, there's no way in your life or any, any particular sector in your life that you question if they're covered or not. What do I mean by that? Are they going to have problems, issues, stuff happen to them? Of course, of course. But when you are faithful, though, you know that in your prayer, in your psychological uh, awareness, in your energetic field, you understand that God knows that these people in my life that I care about so very much, that he's covering them. And that God has the dominance over their life because of your content, your continual prayer to God that you cover them. So for that meaning is when you question or worry all the time about your kids, about your, you know, your people that you love, about your family, about your elder parents, about all these people, when you find yourself constantly worried, you need to turn back to your faith and question why are you in so much worry why do you have so much high anxiety because a lot of times we don't think about the fact that our bodies are are, are the temple to which we harbor how we feel and how much of an abundance of faith we have our temple our temple will tell us our psychological hurt hurts and pains harbor how we stand and walk in faith so why i want to bring up about anxiety and uh, and about worry is because there's so many people and i know that there's you know there's new parents there's 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 you know there's mothers there's grandparents there's all kind of family members that constantly worry about the, the their infant uh the, the infants of their family or they worry about how much they they, they have concern about is my, you know, my, my children going to make it out here? Are they going to succeed? Am I going to be able to take care of myself during retirement? All of these things and questions and worry in your soul is huge when it comes to trying to manifest your, 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 your uh, greatness in you. So why I say it's so important to picture in your mind that your faith, in what you believe in is key to how you walk by faith period we can't be walking by faith if we're constantly worried your worry compromises your walk with your faith so i want y'all to get this is very important your worry your anxiety is compromising your walk in faith so what that means is why it's vitally important that we breathe, that we take time to stop, look, and listen, and we stop and, and get centered in ourselves and meditate, prayer time, is because of the fact that you have to center around you the importance of getting silent so you can hear God guiding you according to what you need to do in this lifetime, period. The voice is inside you. So when you're trying to manifest some things that you want to get done or some things that you want to uh, achieve, then you must stop and, and meditate and pay attention to what it is you really truly want to accomplish. And in that accomplishment, what you, what you so seek to gain from it. A lot of times we don't think about how important it is to sit back and look at, oh my God, I really can gain when I can step out of only worrying about what I can't gain, when you have a when you have a certain faith in your in your in your life, there's really nothing that can compromise how you walk in your faith because you really have a certain level of confidence in your faith. But when we don't have a practice or a challenge of our own personal faith, we can easily go down the road of questioning. Am I okay? Is my kids okay? Is my family okay? Is my job okay? Is my house okay? We can really overly burden ourselves with questions like that because we're not sure of how important practicing our faith and challenging our own personal faith is. 
we don't really realize it. Hey, cousin. We don't really realize it because we don't focus on, oh my God, I really need to focus on the importance of my faith. Yes. Your faith is really important, but it takes practice of your faith to make sure you have your faith on full. Like I said earlier, we go to the gas station every day and we pour all that gasoline in our tank and we know that we're confident when we have a full tank of gas that we can get from point A to point B. Correct or incorrect? Now, when we are on a lower tank when we are like about i don't know the line is on e and we're hearing the dinging but we're not for sure if that tank is going to if we're going to empty that tank we don't know then what we get a little more anxious right where is the nearest gas station matter of fact this happened to me yesterday so that's why i can speak on it i'm like where is the nearest gas station my light is dinging i need to get there it's the same with your faith when you are confident in your faith, when you challenge your faith, and like I said, you have to challenge your faith on a daily basis. It's not, it's just like forgiveness. Faith and forgiveness is hand in hand. You have to practice your faith, just like you practice forgiveness, like we worked on in the forgiveness series. Well, here in the manifestation series, I want you to begin to challenge and master how you are walking by your faith. Because we talk about this all the time with our kids. Walk by faith and do this and do that. And you got to do this and do that. And that's beautiful. However, we need to now challenge ourselves on how we're walking by faith. And then we must understand that our bodies, our temples will give us evidence of how our faith, how good our faith is. Just like when you're driving in the car, like I said earlier, when you're driving that car and that car begins dinging and telling you that your gas is getting low by the, by the mile and lower and lower, we either can ignore the fact that we're constantly worrying or we can begin to sit back and say, hold on, I need to start to pay attention to the fact that my, my faith tank is starting to get to empty. I'm starting to begin to... Um, be more worrisome i'm starting to get more anxiety and so in those in those reactions on your in your body that is showing you that your faith is being compromised just that simple this is why i told you the manifestation series is about the doers because i am giving you doers the understanding of what you have to do in order to manifest a different way of walking in your purpose See, in order for us to walk in our purpose and manifest what we so desire, we must sit back and say, okay, wait a minute. I'm feeling worried way too often. If my phone rings, I'm worried, is my child okay? If I, if, you know, if I get a knock at the door, I'm wondering if it's something I need to, you know, somebody's hurt or somebody's, that is too much. So that means that there's, there's now a point in your life that you are compromising your personal peace. And peace goes hand in hand with faith. Just that simple. They're a married couple. Peace and faith. Okay? So understand that the power you have when you sit back and say, oh, I'm good. I'm not worried. Even if, even, even if something happens, even if a life event takes place, even if I lose somebody I love, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not unshielded. I don't feel like my God didn't, doesn't love me. I don't feel like my faith is compromised. I don't feel like I have, I have lost everything. I understand the difference of death because death brings about a new birth. So I look at things differently because I have a new perception of what death is. So now I'm no longer burdening myself with the worry or anxiety that is sh shielding my life. It's shading. It's shading and shielding your life from being able to walk in life in peace. See, when we're worried and nervous and, 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 and so just discontent, I'm telling you what, it can bring about all kinds of health problems. Just what it is. It can have you. Stress can take you off the planet. 
It can. And so the reason why I'm telling you how important it is that you start to understand the power of sitting back and saying, oh, wait a minute. I have not truly sat back and thought about the fact that I am worrying more. I am concerned more. I am finding myself more burdened. Well, that's because your faith tank is getting on low. So now you have to do something extreme. Just that simple. Do something extreme to challenge your faith. And in, in that challenge of faith, you cannot let that faith get shaken. Not easy. Not easy. Not easy. It's tough. But when you succeed after you challenge your own personal faith and you see that, man, I did something way beyond what I thought I could have done just because I knew I could do it by my own personal faith and I succeed at it, guess what happens to your faith tank then? Your faith tank is now on full. So your worry in your life begins to diminish. Because when, you're, when your tank of faith goes up, your worry and anxiety begins to lessen. They go hand to hand, man. I'm just giving y'all some, some real truths here. Manifest your peace. But in order to manifest peace, you must walk by faith. In order to walk by faith, you have got to sacrifice some things that you would never, ever do. And in order to challenge your faith, you have to do sometimes something extreme to even challenge, do I really believe or do I not? You have to do this. It's just essential. In order to, in order to challenge your faith, you have to do some extreme measures to really challenge, do I really have a faith in myself? Do I really have a faith in my God? Do I really have a faith that I'll be okay? You got to do it. I'm telling you. I've done some really extreme things through the years. Just to challenge, am I really as faithful as I speak about? Am I really? Because I can tell everybody all day. Oh, I got a strong faith. I got a strong faith. I walk by faith. I can do all that all day. I can do that all day. And tell people. But when I walk it, though, I can convey to people, no, I'm, I'm serious. I have done some things in extreme to show that I walk by faith. Prime example. Um, I know one time when I was, I was probably about, maybe about 26, had my baby girl, she was six months old. Wasn't from around here personally. I just came to this area probably about for about three four years and I had gone through a divorce I threw myself out there I didn't know if I was going to have a job or not I didn't know if I was going to have a roof over my head or not I didn't know a lot of things but I decided rather than running home to my parents or running home and and, and trying to burden them I decided no I'm going to take this challenge regardless. And I'm going to do it for me. Not for nobody else. But I got this baby I got to worry about. So I'm doing it for me, but even more so for my baby. So long story short, I didn't really have a whole lot. I had a lot of things coming up against me. I didn't have the greatest car. My job was 35 miles away. I mean, I had a lot going on. My babysitter was here. My, my job was, like I said, 35 miles away. So I could have had so much worry about what I'm not going to have. Especially job related uh, or what I couldn't do for my baby. Or I could have had a lot of worry. You know what I'm saying? But I never allowed, I always challenged myself to put myself into extreme situations to challenge. Are you really as faithful as you say? So I would do it. And I would do, do drastic measures because I felt that in order to really have my faith, not in quick, on, a, on a sturdy, concrete foundation, I wanted to make sure I didn't have my faith in quicksand. Because it can appear, it looks like, you know, quicksand appears to look like it's all level. And you can, and you can stand on it until you stand on it.
and then you notice, oh my God, I'm getting ready to submerge into this quicksand. So I wanted to make sure I had a concrete face to build that foundation for my child. It was very important. So in order to do that, though, I had to make some extreme decisions. Be it as it may, you know, not everybody agreed with how I walked. But when I was walking, though, I was walking by faith. I said, God got me. Whether or not someone else believed it or not, didn't matter. <laughs> didn't matter. I was walking by faith. Every move I took, every day of my, of my time as a single mom with just, you know, my daughter, I was like, nah, I'm going to be just fine. Whether I got eviction notices, whether I got the electric company showing up, they're shutting my stuff off. Didn't matter. Walked by faith. And at the time, I didn't really realize that I challenged myself on so many levels to try to be like, ooh. I don't know if this is smart or not. I did it anyway. And I told my daughter, no matter what, you're going to be okay. Because mommy has faith. And more than anything, you always have to carry that as well. So I would tell her, you know, faith is important. But outside of that, I had to walk it. So walking by faith is not just a term. It's not just something pretty to put on your wall. But it's something that you should practice every single day. And in order to practice walking by faith, it's very important that you sit back and you're like, oh, okay, I see now. I can actually build a newfound life of peace because that's where peace lives. Peace can't live in the same place as worry. Peace can't live in the same place as anxiety. Peace can't live in the same place as depression. It can't go, it, it just can't reside in the same place. So in order to sit back and say, oh, okay, so if I understand that my faith is building my peace, then, oh, I need to really challenge that. So like I say all the time, again, it's very important. We don't want to just walk in, in our life as though we don't have anything to challenge. Always challenge your faith. Thank you, Kevin. Always challenge your faith. I don't care. Challenge it anyway. You don't think, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, my God, I, I'm not sure. Oh, my God, I don't know if I'll get this job or I don't know if I should make this decision. Take it up there. Go into meditation. Ask God, can, is this what you want me to do? And then put forth the effort you have to do. So that means you have to walk. You have to do the work. When you do the work, God will show you. Yes, this is what I want you to do. But you got to get quiet in order to hear what God's asking you to do. God will say a lot of things to you. And sometimes we want to ignore it. Like, I don't want to act like I heard that. God will say, I need you to get up. And I need you to go to this job interview today. I don't want to do all that today. I got stuff to do. My kids need me. My, my honey needs me. I got stuff to do. But what did God say? Oh. Let me go ahead and get my shower and get my buns up and get to that interview. God's not telling you to go there for nothing. Even if you don't get the job. Sometimes God gives you that, that demand because God wants you to see. God just wants to see, do you have faith in me? Do you trust me? Because even if you don't get the job, guess what? You just got yourself something that you don't normally get, which is practice on how to get a job. <laughs> so it's not always going to look the way you think it's going to look. Understand, everything that goes the way it goes, it doesn't always look like this. It doesn't always look like it's going to be rainbows and greatness. Sometimes God gives us things to look at that ain't so pretty. And then we're like, oh, God, you didn't show me. Oh, no, God showed you something that you need to pay attention to. You told me to make a right, God, and I made the right. And now, oh, my God, I just feel like everything's tumbling on me. No, God's showing you those people don't have, don't, don't have any room in your life now. See, we, we have to step back and see what is faith really. Faith really is to show you, okay, I need to, what, remove these people from my life? 
Oh, why? Well, you need you can't hear me, Jav? Anybody else having that problem they can't hear me? Um let me know. Um so you're like, "Oh my god. God, I thought you wanted me to make that left. I did want you to make the left. But in me making the left, it's telling you to take a look at what you're what am I showing you? So when you saw all these people were really negative towards you, didn't really have your back, didn't really want to support you, you got to sit back and look at it and be like, oh, okay, <laughs> I just want to make sure you can hear me. So you look back and you're saying, oh, I thought God wanted me to, hey sis, happy Easter to you too. Oh God, I thought that you wanted, you wanted me to make that left. Yes, God wanted you to make the left. God wanted you to see those people that don't really care about you. Because God wanted you to pay attention to the lesson. But we'll think, well, God, you told me to make the left. I made the left, and now this is just disastrous. No, pay attention to the lesson God's telling you. Because in order for God to get you to that next crossroad, you got to get rid of these deadbeats in your life that have no business being there. They don't care about you like that. So why are they there? Why do you keep entertaining these people? Happy Resurrection Day to you, Doc. Why do you keep entertaining people that hold no real regard or care for you? God wants us to pay attention to some things that sometimes we don't want to see. And I don't care if it's family, friends, co-workers, all kind, you know, people you had kids with, ex-wives, ex-husbands, all these people that you seem to put as primary in your life need to be bumped down to either secondary or non-existent they shouldn't even have a, a relationship with you and we don't often see that because we spend time thinking oh well god is giving me something and i can't understand why he would take me down this way he wants you to see something pay attention but in order for us to challenge our faith we must pay attention to what is told to us and, and, and a lot of times people will come in your life and they will tell you things to do and encourage you some things to do and we don't want to hear it. But that's your lesson. Those are the things you need to be heeding and listening to and paying attention to because they're going to help you to avoid that detour you're about to hit. But we don't want to look at that, do we? We want to be like, eh, they're just haters and all this other stuff. Not necessarily. They may be somebody that's trying to flag you down and tell you don't go that way. It's not good. Hey, Linda. Same to you, love. So it's important. We got to sit back and understand the importance of walking by faith and understanding that in order, again, I'm going to say it again, in order to walk by faith, you must remember that you have to see what level is your faith. And the best way to see what level your faith is, is based upon what level of anxiety and worry you have in your life. Are you constantly worried about what you can't control? Number one indicator that you have a, a faith issue. <laughs> Period. Point blank. If you have a constant level of anxiety, a constant level of depression, or a constant level of you know worry, anxiety, anything like that, it will tell you. Okay, you know what? My faith isn't where it needs to be. Your body tells you what you need to know and what you need to heed to. So when you get that little anxiety, when you get that worry in your soul, then understand, oh my God, I'm really, I'm really unnerving right now. I'm really feeling nervous. I'm really, I'm really concerned. I don't know what's going to happen. That's when you challenge your faith. Okay. You don't know what's going to happen. So what are you going to do about it? Are you going to go, are you really going to go in your prayer time and your meditation and ask God to take care of this and heed to it and walk away from it and do nothing? That's faith. Tell you what happened recently. I had a, a, a supervisor constantly on top of me about stuff. This and that question and this and that and what are you doing and what's your break time and da, 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 just constantly, just all this extra. I'm like, I'm working a job. If I go to the bathroom, damn it, I go to the bathroom. Like, really? What the hell? So, what I did was, I went into meditation. 
I talked to my God about it. Like, look, God, look. I'm at the brink of just walking out of my job. Real talk. Uh, this really happened. Last week. Like, this is not... When I tell y'all stuff, it's not because I'm telling y'all stuff because I just want to tell you. No. This stuff I really went through personally. So anyway, I was like, God, look. I'm getting ready to say to heck with this job. Real talk. I'm like done. God said I protect you. And not only do I protect you, but I'm going to put a shield around you and your family. And then around that shield, any weapon formed against you, I'll let y'all finish. So I thought, oh, okay. All right. Got out of meditation. It was good, too. I had a meditation for like an hour. I was just in deep meditation. Got out of meditation. was like, okay, cool. If, you know, God's covering me. So, like I said, this is where the faith comes in. This is where you challenge your faith. So I go downstairs because I work at home. I go downstairs to my job the next day. Typing and everything, you know. I'm typing and working and all this. And my, and my supervisor comes about a question he had about, I don't know, like one of my cases or something. And he says to me, he says, uh, so you want to explain to me why this was this and this and that? I didn't even have a shaking feeling in my spirit. I wasn't even concerned. Matter of fact, there was no like level of worry or nervousness or nothing. You hear me? So I answered him. This is what it is. <laughs> Period. This is what it is. This is what this happened. This happened. This happened. Didn't shake, didn't, didn't worry, didn't, and moved on about my day. And then I sat back and thought, well, I'll be. I ain't even worried about that. Didn't hear nothing else from him. Didn't question nothing else. Matter of fact, I was like, wow. See, when I tell y'all something, I'm telling y'all something because I do it. I challenged my own faith. Just, just last week. And, and God was like, look, if you're having this issue, what do I, I will protect you. I will shield you. I will shield not just you, but your babies. Okay. So what kind of worry do you think I had that following day? Zero. But what do you think my faith tank was at? Full. I was on full. So when you're on full in your faith, like I talk about the gas tank, when your tank is on full, you have confidence to go wherever it is you need to go, right? Period. So you don't have a concern about it. So when he came at me, questioning me, I was like, this is what it is. This is what it was. This is how it went. And that's what it is. Point blank, period. And didn't have a worry either. Because I'm like, God got me. I ain't worried about it. God got this. I ain't worried about nothing. You hear me? So when I get to that point, when I understand what it means to have faith, I'm telling y'all because I do it. I practice it all the time. Always. I don't care if it's something as minor as a bill or as big as a, a mortgage payment or as small as my health. I mean, uh, my, 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 uh, my car and as large as my health. I am that big about challenging my faith and everybody should do that. We should all challenge how we walk in our faith. It's vital. We have to. We have to question, is our faith where it needs to be? And if not, let's get it up. Let's get our faith tank more up to what? Full. In order to do it, though, you got to do the work. Remember, I told you, this, this, this series right here is about doing. So, again, if you want to do the work, you will basically benefit in manifesting what you want to do. However, you got to do the work, period. You got to do it. You got to walk by faith, but you also have to challenge your faith. You also have to practice how to, how to walk by faith. It's about practice. So in order to practice, I have to meditate. I have to pray. I have to go into uh, challenging myself with, oh, does God really got me or was I just, was I just playing? Oh no, honey. When, when I said God had me, 
I already had all the answers to any of his questions. So it didn't matter what the question was. I didn't care if he asked me, what were you doing on your break? Because I just straight gave it to him. <laughs> I mean, I was like on that level. My faith, I don't let shatter. But I, I definitely don't like it, let it get shaken. So it's important that we understand when you're when you have a high level of worry you hey Shadrick same to you babe when you have a high level of worry that means that your 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 uh, faith tank is getting low in order to get your faith tank to full you must meditate you must pray and you must believe in order to believe you have to believe you're covered your coverage comes from diligence in doing these three things. Basic. Basic stuff here. I'm just giving it to you how I do it. Now how you do it may be a different way. But regardless, those steps you must take in order to remain peaceful. Because see, we're born to be in peace. Amniotic fluid that we were swimming in. For nine months when we were in the womb of our mother was of peace. So we must try to emulate the same amniotic fluid in our life. But in order to do that, we have to walk by faith and believe we are covered in the same amniotic fluid we were covered in our mother's womb. And that amniotic fluid is God's covering. You can't escape that. That's a part of you. <laughs> That's a part of your peace. Period. I hope I helped somebody today. Make sure you share this video. Because somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to understand that their faith and their, their anxiety and their nervousness and their, 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 their worry is coming from a lack of faith. Period. Because faith, like I told you earlier... You cannot actually be okay and in and, and peace when you're full of worry. You can't. It doesn't go hand in hand. It conflicts. It's like oil and water. Just saying, man. Make sure y'all go over to my YouTube and subscribe. It's Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. If you are in need of a wisdom coach, hit me up and call me. It's 844-5-WISDOM. Extension zero, if you are ready to really invest in your growth, in your self-worth, in your value, call me, 1-800-5-WISDOM. I'm sorry, 1-844-5-WISDOM is the number. And also, understand this, I will be dropping um, some free, you heard me, free mini courses for you guys to take. Because at the end of the day, I want you guys to start investing. We are going to start doing some things to really take what I'm telling you on these live shows and apply. <laughs> apply it to your life. Not just sit here and listen to me, which I love it that you're here. But I want you to take it and apply it in your life. Because what good is it that you're just listening and not applying something? A application of what I tell you is vital. So go over to my course craft. And begin to enroll right now in in my courses because that's very important um, and again I will shoot all these links to you guys I do it every Sunday so if you guys don't know I have courses out here yes I have a course called learn to unlearn that course is vitally important trust me we have to learn to unlearn some things to improve our life period point blank very important so again we have to start understanding that when we want our lives to be full of peace, we have to let go of the worry. We have to let go of the anxiety. And in order to do that, we have to build up our faith. Just that simple. So I want to go back and see what um, Kevin said, he said, especially with my health issues, which are based on not having peace. See, Kevin, and I said this earlier that um, stress, stress will take you off the planet. It will. Stress will take you out of here. And stress comes again from lack of peace, lack of, of faith, 
Because, see, the thing about faith is you have a covering. Strike that. You already have a covering, but your covering is more stronger the more you spend time in meditation and in prayer time. When you have a devotion to your God, when you have a devotion to your higher source, when you have a devotion to spending time with yourself and learning to listen to the voice in you, you find that you get more perks for just doing that because it is a showing of what? Commitment. Commitment to your growth. Commitment to your self-worth and value. Commitment to doing what you need to do in order to grow. So it's important and imperative that we understand that, oh, okay, so I can actually blossom. Yes, you can. However, the more diligent you are with your prayer time, meditation, and devotion to being the best level and best version of yourself actually helps to improve your faith. So that is why, and like I said earlier, your alarming health issues or worry level is lessened because you have that confidence in your faith. I hope that helped you, Kevin. And then Phyllis said, that's proven every single time, she said. She said, when worry sets in, you're wavering in your faith. If you know and believe, then practice walking and showing it. It will always manifest only if you stand fast in faith. Absolutely, Phyllis. Yes, and faith and faith and Phyllis is a vet. So she's already knowing that. Absolutely. She's a vet. So she she's been following me a long time. She she's one of mine right there. So she knows. Yes. You have to stay stay really in your practice of faith and understand that it will show you you will be so you will you will not be as surprised the more you practice and see it come to light but you will be astonished not surprised astonished by when you when you have your faith be shown to you that in your commitment to your faith you have found this newfound level of evidence that having the faith has shown you in an abundance it's 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 beyond words you can't you can't even describe in words how i just stood in my faith and everything worked out i don't know how or why or what but god does see god i'm telling you god does the source does. It is an understanding clearly of who is really out here believing and having faith. Period. A lot of people will tell you they're faithful. But worry to death. And then I got to question them. How are you faithful? You worry more than anything else. But you faithful to what? <laughs> You got to get your weight up, ma. You ain't faithful. You're full of worry. And that means you're empty on faith. Period. And and so, because I gave you something so, like, so clear, crystal clear, take it. Look at yourself. Really, like, sit in, sit in silence with yourself after this live, after you subscribe to my YouTube, Carla Nicole Wisdom Channel. Sit in silence. And look at yourself and say, I am worried about this many times a week. Or I am worried more than I should be. Or I'm never worried. Either way, it doesn't matter. Even if, you're, even if your tank is on full, you still need to still practice your faithfulness in your faith. Period. It's important. So don't, don't sit back and think and get comfortable. That just because you're faithful today, you're going to be faithful tomorrow. Uh-uh. You got to practice. You have to practice. Trust me. Because you can be all in your faith today. And tomorrow, something can go awry. And you can be like, oh. And there goes the worry. There goes the anxiety. Something can shake you so hard. You would be like, oh my God. I don't know if I can stand in my faith. And you're shaking like an earthquake. That's when it's chat. That's when that's when you gonna see. Oh, my faith tank ain't so ain't so full like I thought it was. 
Just saying, man. Happy Resurrection Day. That's what this is about. It's about faith, baby. If you ain't ready to do the work, you ain't ready for this series. I tried to tell you last week. This is about real, true stuff. And understand something. Your faith can be shaken. Trust me. Have somebody you love in ICU. Have somebody you love in ICU. And see how quickly your faith is shaken. Have, have, have your job in the balance. And see how quick your faith is shaken. Have your only means of transportation. Destroyed. In an instant. See how hard your faith is shaken. See. I'm about real stuff. I'm about talking about how we can. How we can manifest. But I first got to get y'all ready for faith. Period. This ain't this is the, right here. This series right here. This ain't for no chumps. This 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 series right here is about doing the work, and understanding that when you're doing the work, it's gonna take some real challenges. You're going to put yourself at 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 a at, at a test, and it's not that hard to do, but it's vitally important you understand the power of it. Real talk. I'm just saying. I went over today. That's fine. Look, I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, as long as I'm gifting y'all with something that you can take and put in y'all's back pocket and apply it to your life, I don't care about the time. Because at the end of the day, I'm supposed to be here, you're supposed to be here, and you're supposed to gain something by what I'm saying. Just that simple. Again, I want you all to enjoy your holiday. Eat, eat, eat. Just enjoy it. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your day. Be safe if you're traveling. Um, I want to say a special, special happy birthday to my daddy today. He is 84 years old. I'm so thankful he is in my life. And, um, you know, I got to see him yesterday. I traveled about three hours just to see my daddy. Um, I took my grandbaby and my, my daughter and her boyfriend and my baby son to uh, to see him. And we had a beautiful, beautiful time. Um, just always remember that um, in order to manifest, got to do the work. So, like I said, if you're not ready or willing to do the work, you ain't ready for this. You're going to have to go to my other series, like forgiveness, hashtag forgiveness series, half hashtag alone series hashtag the um the relationship series i mean you got to go through all those series first to get to here and then hashtag transformation series if you really want to do the work then you'll be ready for for that once you go through those okay so i'm out of here if you guys need a coach don't hesitate to call me eight four four five with if you also need anything like a solo shirt that you saw me wearing last week it's it's sixty two dollars out the door, so make sure to call me at eight four four five wisdom. I can get that for you. Um, and again, I appreciate everybody being on here. I'm out of here. I'm Carla Nicole. I'm signing off. Best kept. Have a great day. Bye.